Hey everybody! Welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric. Thank you so much for joining me. If you are new to the channel, welcome. It's very nice to meet you. And if you're returning, what's up squad? <laughs> so guys, welcome to your readings for the month of December 2018. We are already at the end of the year. Where has the time gone, right? Um, we're coming up on the one year anniversary of when I started this channel. I started it January 8th of 2018, and it's been a really amazing year so far. Um, to grow to 12,000 subscribers in, you know, under a year, I mean, I hit the, I think I hit the 12,000 mark in October, I want to say. But anyway, it doesn't matter. Like, you guys are amazing. Thank you so much for your support, for liking, sharing, subscribing, for just being here, especially to those of us, or those of you that are on this Twin to Flame journey. Thank you so much for being such an amazing support system, not just for me, but for everyone else that is on here. I mean, I don't know what I would do without the support of this community here we have on YouTube and everything. So I just want to give a big shout out to all of you guys. You're amazing. And for those of you that are just finding the channel, welcome to the community. Welcome to the group. Welcome to the family. Welcome to the club. Yes. So I also want to wish everybody a very happy holidays, no matter what you celebrate during this holiday season. And even if it's just for New Year's, happy holidays and happy new year, guys. It's going to be, 2019 is going to be really awesome. I can feel it. I'm really excited to, to start, to get started. Yeah. So I just want to make a quick point about um, Western astrology versus Eastern astrology. Uh, so many of you that have been following me for some time know that I recently started studying uh, Eastern or Vedic or sidereal astrology and for me personally, it's been so powerfully transformative and so accurate that I really adopted a lot of that. So that is why in the description box, you'll see I have two options. I have two versions, my Western chart and my Eastern chart. Um, I put that both of those there for those of you that still resonate with the Western chart. And I did receive a question from someone at one point asking which one... Um, you're, you are when it comes to my channel. I would say, I would recommend that you really investigate your Eastern uh, Vedic or Sidereal. They're all the same. They're like the same name for one name for the uh, different names for the same situation. <laughs> but uh, I would say, I recommend that you look up your Eastern chart because more than likely, or yeah, more than likely, most likely you are going to resonate with that one. It's more accurate. Um, it has more detail. Not everybody does. Some people find that they still resonate with the Western. So that's why I keep both of those situations there. Ultimately, it is your choice to figure, to, to understand or decipher which one, which side you resonate with more. Me personally, in my personal opinion, and if I were to approach you and have a conversation with you, I would lean more towards the Eastern side of things, but ultimately that is your decision. So if you want to figure, like, watch both sides, um, whatever signs you resonate or you have in your chart and see which side resonates with you, go right ahead. Um, but ultimately, I'm leaving that up for you guys to decide, okay? But anyway, so these are your messages for the month of December. Um, these are general, re uh, general messages. So take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If something does not fit, please do not try to make it fit. You'll only make yourself uncomfortable in the process, yes? Um, they're general readings, so these energies are fluid. Um, they could, we could be talking about you specifically. We could be talking about someone else that you're connecting with or someone that's surrounding you. Again, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. I am available for private readings. All the information is in the description box below. I am going to be taking it a bit easy for the month of December, um, but I'm still available. So if you want to get a reading, go ahead and look at the description box. Yes. Um, keeping it cute, as always, with the normal stuff. We've got the Golden Universal Tarot, and we've got Oracle Guidance from the Oracle of the Unicorns. I love unicorns. And if you know me, if you've been following the channel, you know just how much I love unicorns. Yeah? So I guess that's it, guys. Without further ado, let's do it. Hello, Virgo. Welcome to your reading for the month of December 2018. Thank you so much for joining me. All right, let's get to it. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Virgos, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for Virgo for the month of December 2018. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, Virgo. So things things feel really rough, pretty heavy for you right now. Um, 
as I was doing the pre-shuffle, a lot of things were popping out. Uh, things that pointed that I would point it out, um, or that are, or are sticking out in my head. The Six of Cups, uh, Justice, the Two of Swords with... Oh, I don't remember what the Two of Swords came out with, but um, the Wheel of Fortune and the Devil. Um, I feel like some of you... Now, some of you might be going through dealing with a divorce, maybe starting to think about whether or not you want to go down that road. And I know these are not, that's not something you really want to be hearing or at least dealing with around this time of year. We are in the holiday season, but that is something that's been coming up for a lot of this, well, a number of the signs so far for this month. So either there's someone that I'm channeling for that, you know, I don't remember which signs they were in. I'm so sorry, but um, it could be someone that I'm channeling for that has either these other signs in their chart or someone that they're connecting with within their chart. Or this could just be, I feel like this is a, a, a very, a, a heavy time for tying up loose ends when it comes to karmic situations. Um, this could be someone from your past coming back into your life um, or just something from the past that you're dealing with. You're, you're tying up the loose end because there's some sort of karmic tie with this person. Um, there's self-discovery that's happening with the Page of Wands. Oh, I remember what it was. The Two of Swords and the, what came out with the Seven of Wands. Um, so someone is being super defensive, is not really looking at a situation or seeing the situation for as for the way it needs to be seen. Um, there needs to be some sort of choice or decision that's made, but they're being very adamant about not making the decision because they don't want to, to, to really see it for as it truly is because then that means they have to see themselves as they truly are and they may not want to face that. This could be you, Virgo. This could be someone else that you're you're connecting with, someone else that's in you know in your circle, your energetic circle. Um, it just things just feel really heavy for you right now, Virgo. But I really feel like that has to do with the karmic ties that you're really working through, that you're purging. Okay. Um, ultimately, the sun is going to shine on you again, says <laughs> says the divine. Um, but you got to go through this karmic cycle first. This is like a final purge of 2018 so this we could be talking about mercury being in retrograde now mercury in retrograde only lasts until about december 6th um but you could still be feeling some after effects afterwards throughout the month of december okay all right virgo one more shuffle for you and then we'll get started all right here we go <laughs> okay, Virgo. Overall energy. Ooh, you got the four of wands. Okay, well, that's not so bad. Um, but I really feel like you're cleaning house. This could be why your things are feeling so heavy right now because you're noticing, I feel like you're noticing a lot of clutter. This could be in your, physically in your home or it could be um, in your energetic home, right? In your in your energetic space. So again, you're dealing with a lot of karma. Some of you actually might be moving. You might be gearing up to move. You might be feeling like you need to move, something like that. Four of Wands, yes. So the Four of Wands also talks about union. Um, and here you have the hanged man, all right? So you really could be rethinking a union with someone. You could be saying to yourself, oh, well, maybe this is not actually the union that I want. It's not the union that I expected. Some of you may be coming into alignment or realization about a union. Huh. But this is also, you know, this is that heavy energy that I was picking up on. Um, you might feel stuck, but uh, ultimately um, this is bringing enlightenment to you, okay? This is bringing a deeper understanding. You have the Knight of Cups here. Wow. And the Wheel of Fortune. Look at that. Karmic ties. Karmic struggles are coming to an end. Um, it's really interesting. For some of you, you you're, something that you were overlooking in the past is now <laughs> up in the forefront, all up in your face, and... You may have, I'm hearing that you may have realized with this hanged man in reverse, you may have realized that you missed out on a golden opportunity here. 
And for many of you, if that's where you where you are right now, for many of you, it needed to happen that way. You needed to go through this experience and realize, oh shit, I really missed out on a good thing. And, and now you may feel like you want to reach out to this person or they want to reach out to you and make that offer, make an apology and whatnot. But for many of you, you've moved on with the Wheel of Fortune. Done. Cycle is over. Okay. <sighs> All right. Getting into your first row here. First set of surrounding energies for you, Virgo. You got the Queen of Swords. Boop, boop. I really feel like for a lot of you, this is your energy, Virgo, or it's the, it's the energy of someone around you. This is that person that you passed up on that has now pieced the fuck out and said, screw it, I'm done. Moving on. This is also the divorcee. So for some of you, you could be dealing with divorce. You also could be dealing with an air sign. Doesn't have to be, though. Aquarius, uh, Libra, or Gemini, but it doesn't have to be. This that, that really doesn't matter. You could also be dealing with a water sign for that matter, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, but again, it doesn't matter because it doesn't have to be that. The Queen of Swords is coupled with the moon. Wow. This is interesting. This is Pisces energy. Oh, and so is um, sometimes the Hanged Man can be Piscean energy. There's something about the unknown here. It's almost as if, if you're the energy of the Queen of Swords, you've cut something out. And maybe I'm hearing for fear of the unknown. Also, you could be not afraid of the unknown. Like you're cutting yourself. It's almost, I'm almost seeing someone like cutting the ties, karmic, cutting karmic ties with someone that kept them grounded or connected in some way. And now they're floating off into space and it's not even a bad thing. They're just like, whatever, I'm done with this. It's toxic. So I'm just going to move on. And wherever the universe takes me is where I'm supposed to be. Okay. For others of you, Someone has cut someone off, or it may seem like they've cut them off, but there's some, some, something's hidden here. Now, also what I'm getting here is if you, if you've been cut off or if you've, if, if you've been cut off, the, whoever has cut themselves out of the situation is now shrouded in mystery. It's almost as if now they've floated off into space and you've lost sight of them and now you don't know where they are, what they're doing. You can't find them. Oops. <laughs> Second set of surrounding energies, Virgo, you've got. Yeah, you can't find them. The high priestess. Shrouded in mystery. It's almost, now, this is really energy I'm getting, I guess, for the cross watcher, but... Um, cause this could be you Virgo or it could be the other person, but whoever has cut themselves, who, whoever has shut the door on this, on this connection, on this situation, whatever. Again, they're shrouded in mystery, but you, you, this person that has been X'd out, who, whoever the queen of swords cut out of the situation. Now you're learning some really deep lessons here some lessons that you were that, that you've been guided towards for a very long time but you may have refused to listen the high priestess is bringing an energy of not being able to escape this any longer so what she's saying to me or what she's showing me is someone that's writhing and and and, and sque squir squirming and resisting with everything they have but it's almost like they're in a straitjacket with the hanged man. I, I literally, I'm seeing someone on like basically on the floor in front of this high priestess sitting on her throne, writhing in pain and resisting and struggling as much as they can. Even though they're in this freaking straight jacket, there's no hope of escape. And the high priestess is just sitting there just like, really? Okay, I'm going to sit here and wait until you finally decide to calm the fuck down and listen. Yeah. High Priestess is coupled with... 
<laughs> you can't make this shit up, guys. Death. Could be Scorpio energy. The high priestess is saying to you, Child, you can't escape this any longer. You can run all you want, but you can't escape me. I will always find you. I am the master of secrets. There is no hiding place that I don't know of. So you may be able to, quote, get away from me for a little bit, but you're only deceiving yourself. <laughs> you're only deceiving yourself because I will always know where you are. I will always be able to find you. You cannot hide from yourself. You cannot hide from the truth. This is either you, Virgo, or this is a cross watcher. This is someone that you're connecting with. And for those of you that have really taken the charge, taken the bull by the reins, and have learned your lessons, followed the guidance, good on you. Why? Because you have this four of wands here. You have this stability, this foundation. You're good. You're set. And what I've been saying a lot for this Four of Wands is, um, even though, yes, we've been talking about this as a union card, especially for Twin Flames, this is also saying, yes, there is cause for celebration, but you cannot rest on your laurels right now because there is still work to be done. But you've got the foundation, you've got the fire, you've got the passion. You have the flames lit. Now you have to fan them, feed them, and work on them so that they can continue to grow, okay? Your challenge in this first half of the reading, as if things aren't challenging enough, your challenge here, the Four of Pentacles. Oh! <sighs> I mean, I almost feel like I don't even have to say it. It's like I've said enough already. Even the high priestess is saying to me, yeah, honey, you said it quite sufficiently, but let's say it a little louder for those Virgos or those cross watchers in the back. Let go. That's all I'm going to say. Four of Pentacles is coupled with Jesus Christ, the King of Pentacles. Like, come on, guys. How how many different ways are you going to... I'm sorry. I'm getting, I'm getting a little irate and dramatic. <laughs> but this is also like I'm channeling the energies. It's almost as if I'm channeling the energies of your higher selves who are getting extremely frustrated at this point. As if things... As if shit wasn't fixed enough. As if you weren't miserly enough in just holding on for dear life digging your heels in as if you didn't have enough Taurus energy. And I'm so sorry, I'm not trying to be an asshole about this, but if you're getting triggered by it, then there's something that you got to learn there. But if you weren't being stubborn enough with the Four of Pentacles, you've got the King of fucking Pentacles on top of it. <laughs> like shit, man. But this is your challenge right now releasing your hold on what you knew. This is either you, Virgo, or this is the cross-watcher, or someone you're connecting with. Oh, I love you guys, but this is me. Like, I get dramatic, but also, because I'm a Leo rising, but also, um, I'm channeling the energies here, and there's just, there's a level of frustration right now. And if you think spirit or the divine can't get frustrated, honey, you are gravely mistaken because frustrate I mean it's normal it's normal it's a part of the emotional spectrum but the thing about spirit is they don't really latch onto it the way our egos do they recognize it for what it is and they use that as a beacon to try and smooth some things out that's a, that's an indication that there's friction and so they use that as a way to uh, pinpoint that situation and then work on it so yeah, there's a bit of frustration here, but all is going to work out in the end, obviously. It always does. Ooh, your final message or the potential outcome for your first half of the reading here, you've got, hey, I told you everything's going to work out just fine. The sun. Leo energy, potentially. But the sun. So even though someone is writhing in pain and frustration and objectivity and um, 
stubbornness and whatever you want, however you want to label it, it's fine. It's all going to work out for the best in the end with the sun. Sun is coupled with, woo, oh, oh, the devil. <laughs> Good Lord. But also, this is great, actually, because th there is going to be some serious illumination on this devil energy. You could be dealing with a Capricorn, Sun, Moon, uh, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Whoa, I just noticed that. Look at this. Look at this, guys. You've got the sun and the moon here. That's fantastic. So for some of you, if you've been cut out of somebody's life, it's helping you illuminate where your attachments lie, where your codependencies are, where your addictions are, that kind of thing. All right? So again, if, so, if someone has cut you out, it's actually for your highest good because it's helping you see the truth of the situation. Because while this person was around you, they only enabled you to not look at the situation, not see it as it clearly was, because they were they were feeding into your negative attachments, your narcissism, your karmic attachments, your 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 pleasure, your your addictions, that kind of thing. But now that they have removed themselves from the situation, you are starting to see the light, or at least you have the opportunity to see the light, even though some of you are struggling against this with every ounce of your being, ultimately you will have a chance to see the light. Enlightenment will come with the hanged man, okay? In your second row here for your month of December, Virgo, first set of surrounding energies, you got, whoa, the lovers. And it's so funny because I was looking at the devil here and I almost said this has, this says, this is very much a depiction of the lovers, but then I realized the lovers wasn't on the deck here. Well, here you have it, the lovers. Divine union, uh, union between masculine and feminine, divine masculine, divine feminine. Could be a Gemini, Gemini energy. Doesn't have to be. Um, okay, divine union is what I'm getting here. And you could be dealing with a a, a, car, a, a a twin flame, actually, that may have disconnected from you, pieced out. I mean, like, pieced the fuck out. <laughs> Maybe in a very big way. And it doesn't have to be made big and dramatic. It could have been. But it doesn't have to be dramatic in a physical sense. It could be dramatic in an energetic sense, whereas at one moment you felt that connection with them, and then all of a sudden they just ghosted you energetically. But in this case, they had every right to do so because you were manipulative and narcissistic and they finally learned to love themselves and said, they said, peace the F out, homie. So that really could be the Queen of Swords here. But what, that's, what this is saying is this is really teaching you a lesson. And this is a, a lesson that you needed to learn anyway. And it's helping you come into divine union within yourself. The lovers is coupled with a now, a now, the king of cups. This is that this is that narcissistic energy I was talking about. Potentially, it could be a Scorpio. Um, and you do have the death here, so you really might be dealing with a Scorpio, or you might have Scorpio in your chart. But. Wow, I'm really getting a lot of narcissistic tendencies for some of you. And this would most likely potentially be on the divine masculine end, if we're talking twin flames. But this is absolutely, this is what is being illuminated for you. You have the sun in your, in the last part of your first half of the reading, you had the sun, which is illumination of the devil, right? Your addictions, your karmic ties, your your uh, your negative um, social habits or whatnot, your codependencies. It's illuminating this for you. And then you have the lovers, which is a depiction, which is kind of like the opposite of the devil, right? It's a very similar depiction. And you have the king of cups. So this connection, this is mirroring to me. This connection is saying to you that this is illuminating ways that you need to grow up emotionally. 
Stop being so manipulative. Stop being so narcissistic. It's like once someone that you actually truly care about, and this is so twisted, but this is kind of how it's coming across. The, the, one of the main reasons why you felt it was okay or someone felt it was okay to manipulate, to, to, to string someone along is because number one, not only did you, do you really care about this person? Um, but number two, you felt like they were going to be there no matter what. And so you're just like, whatever, I can drag this person through the mud. They'll still love me. Yeah. Well, they still love you. Don't get me wrong, but that damn sure does not mean they're going to stick around and let you fuck them over, over and over again. Eventually, they're going to wake up and they're going to peace out with the Queen of Swords. And so now that that's happened, now your narcissistic tendencies or your codependencies, your addictions, the negative traits, whatever that you are so attached to are being blown wide open. And it's not just for some of you. It's not just for you to see. It's for the whole world to see in some cases. Ew. Yo. <laughs> Second set of surrounding energies for your second half of the reading here. You've got the Ace of Pentacles. But you see here, some of you are really being offered an opportunity. For those of you that have cut this, this out, you're being offered a brand new start because you finally learned your lesson. You did your work. You did most of your healing, and now you're being offered with something new. And for those of you that have been cut out, you're being offered something new too in the form of starting over rebuilding your your image for some the universe is offering you a reset button ace of pentacles is coupled with yeah look at that moving on the six of swords you gain a brand new start a fresh new beginning when you move forward when you take the opportunity to learn the lessons to grow to heal and to move forward regardless of what may happen in your past. And understand, your past in no way does that define you. It's really just the lessons that you needed to work through in your life in order to reach this new level, okay? Your challenge here in the second half of your reading, you've got the Four of Swords. You need to rest, you need to heal, you need to take some stock, you need to take a break. Some of you are going hard, going hard with this King of Pentacles energy in just being so focused on materialism and finances and shit. It's almost as if you're working yourself to the bone to forget the pain in some cases. And you're needing to take a break and just chill and take a moment to heal. Because the Four of Swords is very much about healing. And also, look at this. This is so crazy, guys. There's so much mirroring going on. You've got the major and minor arcana depictions of... The Hanged Man. The Four of Swords is very much for me and for a lot of other readers, it's very much the minor arcana depiction of the Hanged Man. Being in a precarious position, kind of being forced to take a break. Now with the Hanged Man, the universe may be forcing you to take a break, okay? But here at the Four of Swords, you're making a conscious decision or you're, you have the opportunity to make a conscious decision to pull back and just to fall back and rest, okay? <clears throat> But more mirroring between, look, you've got the sun and the moon. You've got the devils and the devil and the lovers. I mean, whoa, <laughs> this is kind of freaky, guys. Um, the four of swords is coupled with, whoa, the ace of swords, you see? Some of you are needing to see the truth. And the only way you're going to see the truth is if you take this break. Is if you stop moving for so much for a second. If you just stop resisting so much for just a second, you might get it. You might actually get it. Okay? Uh, potential outcome or closing message for your second re half of the reading here. You've got, hey, the Nine of Pentacles. This is very much your energy, Virgo. Um, but this is re these are rewards for work well done. Being abundant, being single, being independent and free, in charge of your own life, I'm hearing. And for some of you, this is how this is what you have to look forward to. Once you do the work, once you do the healing, once you grow, once you expand, yes? Nine of Pentacles is coupled with holy shit. The tower. <laughs> but you look, look, when you face the tower. 
when you face the tower, or at least the tower energy, you get the rewards. For some of you, you have a tower moment that's coming. And the universe is preparing you for it, is saying, look, don't worry about it, because ultimately it's going to set you up for success in the future. What we are taking away from you is only blocking your abundance right now. So you need to let it go. Hello, you need to let it go. Four of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. So for some of you that are sitting here in this straight jacket in front of the high priestess, resisting like all hell, the universe is like, all right, that's fine. I'll just send you one of these, the tower. Okay, fine, and you can rebuild that tower as many times as you want. I'm just going to come back around and knock that shit to the ground. But hey, do what you want. I mean, it's your life. You do have free will. But there are some things that you're going to have to learn in this lifetime, and if you don't learn them in this lifetime, you're only going to have to come back and do it again. Let's see how many times you're going to go around this karmic wheel... And let's see how long you get tired. I've got all the energy in the world, says the universe. <laughs> Shit, man. Shit, man. I mean, the Wheel of Fortune. How long are you going to ride this wheel? Ugh. Okay. Let's get into your oracle messages here for the month of December, Virgo. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. <laughs> oh, gosh. I'm sorry. I'm laughing. I'm just seeing... I'm just seeing things in my head. I'm just seeing the universe just kind of like sitting there, yawning, bored as all get out. Same shit, different toilet. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Ugh. Okay, best messages for Virgo for the month of December, please. Unicorns and spirit, thank you so much. Ooh. All right. You've got two cards. Okay. Underneath the deck, you have courage. You are safe. Fear is an illusion. Set strong boundaries. Excellent. Now, your official messages. Dance. Move your body to music. Dance with the rhythm of life. Manifest your dreams through dance. And this is very much also about going with the flow when it comes to dancing with the rhythm of life. I mean, how do I say this? While you can be the drummer in the sense that you dance to the beat of your own drum, ultimately, you're not the drummer because the universe or God or source is like the ultimate drummer. So at some point, you just got to let go and let God. I know some of you are kind of triggered by that statement right now, but it's the truth, ultimately. Okay? So dance to the rhythm of life. Stop resisting so much because you're only making things harder for yourself. Okay? You have sanctuary. Take time out from the world. Spend more time alone. Meditate or go on a retreat. Well, gee, that's nifty. Because what do you have here? The Four of Swords, which talks about meditation and healing. Oh, what else do you have here? The Hanged Man, which is like the major arcana version of the Four of Swords. Or you could say the Four of Swords is the minor, minor arcana version of the Hanged Man. You got three cards here. Talking about you need to take a break and stop resisting so much. Sanctuary. Alrighty. So there it is, Virgo. I know this was kind of a little bit of a tough reading for many of you, for some of you, but everything's going to be fine, guys. You're just going through the process. You're learning your lessons. It's all good. It's all good, okay? Um... So, I am available for private readings. Uh, I am going to be taking a little bit less than normal because I want to take a bit of a, take it easy during the month of December. Um, but all of the information is in the description box below. 
uh, just go ahead, check that out. You can email me. My email address is there. The uh, the, uh, the readings that I offer are there as well. Um, if you can't decide what reading to take, uh, just email me. We'll chat about your situation a little bit, and I will help you decide. Yeah? But with that said, thank you so much for tuning in. Much, much love to you guys. I look forward to connecting with you again very soon. Yeah? Take care. Mwah! Bye!